What is going on, guys? It is Bet Slam with Sam. UFC 298, we have Jeff Neal taking on Ian Machado Gary in the welterweight division. Guys, I'm going to start this one off with, this is a banger. I know that Ian Machado has that point fight, touch him up and move style, but Jeff Neal has the absolute opposite. So we got a bull and we got a matador here. Jeff Neal is going to keep coming, no matter what Ian Gary does to him, whether he kicks his legs out, whether he beats him down. Jeff Neal, hands of steel, is tough as nails, man. I mean, the dude fought Shavkat tooth and nail, made Shavkat look human. But where I worry it for him in this matchup is he has lost to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, who, like Ian Gary, likes to stick and move. And I think that Ian Gary is going to stick and move. I think he's going to chop the leg. I think he's going to dance around. And I don't say that disrespectfully. He has great movement, and he has reach, and he's long, and he knows how to use it. So why would you get in the pocket and try and throw hands with somebody who is an absolute killer? I mean, you know, he literally gave a brain bleed to Vicente Luque. Like, if I'm Ian Gary, I'm staying the hell out of the pocket with Jeff Neal. But where Jeff Neal could have success here is when he enters into the pocket and Ian Gary tries to exit out, if he has his chin up in the air and he comes over top with an overhand, he could absolutely spark, uh, hurt, and put Ian Gary out. Guys, I'm taking Ian Gary in this matchup. If history has shown me anything, it is that the striker that can stay out of the pocket and tag somebody up is going to win. I've seen it with the likes of Israel Adesanya and Yoel Romero, Israel Adesanya and Jared Cannonier, uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, and Jeff Neal. You guys, <laughs> Jeff Neal lost to Neil Magny. And Neil Magny is good, but he is not as good as Ian Gary. And I just think that MMA math is not that simple, but it also kind of is. If you are unable to defeat two types of people that have somewhat of a similar, a similar skill set, not similar, a similar skill set to Ian Gary, then I don't know how I can take you. I think that Ian Gary wins by decision. It's paying about $2.60 at the moment, so plus $160 for a decision. I think that's great. Take the money and run. I know that Jeff Neal is paying a lot more and you want to hit that underdog money on him. And if you're set in your heart of hearts, by all means, pick Jeff Neal. But I think that Ian Gary here is the rightful favorite. And I think that him by decision makes all the sense in the world to me here. So guys, I'm picking Ian Gary. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, send it to your nan, and I will see you in the next one.